So if you've ever found yourself needing to create payments for your SaaS product, it's kind of a pain in the ass, let's be honest here. And the easiest solution is to use a payment gateway out of the box. And that's what I've done for all of my products. I started out by using Stripe. Uh, now I also use Lemon Squeezy. And the reason I use Lemon Squeezy is because Lemon Squeezy is great for not handling tax residencies, which is something you get into when you start making um, sales across the world in different countries. You have to open tax residencies in those places. Lemon Squeezy takes care of all of that, which is why you pay a little bit more of a premium, but you don't need to worry about the hassle. So today I've just finished up my coding on uh, this Pocket Base Plus Lemon Squeezy integration. And I think it's going to really help any SaaS builders out there to get started easily. Uh, I just ran through it. It took me about 10 minutes just to get set up and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. First thing you're going to need is a Lemon Squeezy account if you don't have one. Um, uh, I'm just setting this up with testing, but it will work for prod. The second thing you're going to need is a pocket host account. Um, and you'll need access to that instance. Uh, we're going to need to get our pocket base URL all ready to go. And you're going to need some sort of um, uh, like nothing in your pocket base instance to, to begin with. Um, and then we're also going to need to look at having a um, uh, an FTP client of some sort. I use Cyberduck in this video, but if you've got another one which you prefer, um, you can use that. Uh, if you don't know how FTP works, I recommend that you look look into it. It's a skill that you need for basically all sorts of um, integration with Linux and, and all the rest of it, but it's fairly easy to get started. Um, just a note on the architecture of the way that this integration works, we are using hooks here. So um, with hooks, the hooks will handle the subscription changes. Um, the first thing that we're going to want to look at is to set up our, um, our our actual hook. And to do that, we're using a custom route in Pocketbase. Um, so we will get our custom route set up and then we will put in um, the actual callback URL, which will be our custom route to our Pocketbase instance um, in order to get the webhook set up. But the idea of the webhook is, is that we have um, the subscriptions all updating in real time. So whenever a change happens, we are informed about it on Pocketbase side. Um, so yeah, the first place you wanna go to get the code to set up our Pocketbase hooks is Pocketbase Lemon Squeezy. And Pocketbase Lemon Squeezy is uh, my uh, repo, which I manage. I've put some instructions in there to get set up relatively quickly, but you really just want to um, grab the main file and throw it directly onto the um, main.pb. So this is the, the code actually here. And I'm going to go to my um, FTP client here and create a new file. We're going to call this um, main.pb.js. And that's going to update on there. And then we're going to, and this is a feature I love of Cyberduck is you can just op edit with, I'm going to edit with cursor. And that's going to open it up for us. And then we're just going to paste in the code and because we're wanting to get our route set up for um, the web hooks, you can see we're just using these JS hooks here and these add routes directly onto our pocket base instance. So I've added one for with a post request um, and you'll notice that we've got this secret here um, and uh, you'll notice that also the route is um, backslash lemon squeezy. These are two really important facts. Um, the way that the route is authenticated with a lemon squeezy as it uses this signing secret um, along with an encryption technique called HMAC to sign every single request and make sure that it's it's a valid request. So if we go to lemon squeezy, we can now add on that route there, which is what handles our hooks. Then we can add in this secret here. 
which is hello world you can you should change this to your own secret i'm just using hello world because that's what i want to do um, so we'll just copy that we'll put that in our signing secret we'll basically want to select all of the subscriptions here um none of the order ones should be there um just the subscription ones um and then we'll want to save that and that's going to be our webhook and this is only part of it because basically the way that the architecture works is we've got some uh, uh, things which aren't done on webhooks. So like product creation and things like that in Lemon Squeezy aren't already set up. So we'll just need to set up the API to do that directly within, uh, within our pocket-based hook. So to do that, we'll need to create an API key. I'm going to call this one just pocket-based Lemon Squeezy. And we'll just create this one here and we'll copy this key and we're going to replace this in our code that we've gotten from the repo. Um, we'll just copy. I'm just doing an update here in all places. Um, and but yeah, you need to go through each of them and update it. Unfortunately, with pocket based hooks there's some caveats like you can't have like a, a constant variable outside of these these route functions um so that's why i've just gone and made it so that you have to update it in every individual one um there's ways to get around that but it, it's it adds complexity uh, as normal next thing we're wanting to do is to open up our postman and um we'll just test and see how um how things perform um uh and i've created i've created a postman collection that that uh, people can use just to um test um anything on on the on the postman side of things but um we'll need to uh first before we play around in postman we need to test in uh pocket base and to do that we're going to have to set up a user by importing and we're also going to need to import all our co collections, which are going to basically synchronize with um, synchronize with Lemon Squeezy. So we'll just confirm and import on these. If you're using a brand new instance, you'll have some something different there. Um, like you might have users, and we might have to replace that, but it should all be the same. Um, we're going to add in a brand new customer, which is called Customer One. And we'll add in some passwords. Yep. Okay. And now we've got our test customer. We can actually start looking at creating a checkout session. Um, so we'll just change this to customer one to get the org. Scroll down and this is our token we've got here. So we'll copy this. And we'll, I've got created this unauthenticated uh, manual sync function just for the purpose of demonstrating. But there's also a cron job in the code which allows you to basically, like I mentioned, do the synchronization of, of your products directly. And you can set that up on a schedule so that it comes through every 30 minutes or, or what have you. Um, so we'll just change this authorization here. The way that the authorization works is it uses uh, the create, um, it uses the user's authentication model in order to uh, get the user and create a new customer in Lemon Squeezy. So we'll just replace it here as well. And then we'll create our first checkout session. And we get the related resource does not exist 404. And that is because I haven't updated the variant. I haven't created any variant or anything. Uh, in the lemon squeezy side of things. So let's go to lemon squeezy and let's see what we need to create here. So we need to go to products. We need to create a new product. We'll call it pocket 
Stripe. Buy me subscription. One thing to note, we're not handling single payments in this. Like I, it can work, but I haven't tested it. It's just subscriptions for now. And we're gonna make this $99 and we're gonna change the frequency to a week. And we'll just publish this product. And that's there. So that's our first product. Um, if we copy the variant ID and then slam that into our collection here, we should now be able to create a session. One thing to note is that you need to make sure that the store in the creates checkout session function is set to the store that you've got in Lemon Squeezy. Now Lemon Squeezy gives you a store out of the box which you can check in settings and then stores. And then you can get that number directly from there. But uh, yeah, you need to make sure that that, that store has changed because it's not gonna be the same as, as mine. And then we'll run this and we can see that we've got our checkout there. So if we copy this, and then we open it. change to Australia. We've got our checkout session now, which is pretty cool. We can just pay. And that's our order. You can see there's a few other orders which I've got in there, but um, they're orders from, from other ones. You'll notice we still don't have the product in there, but we've got the subscription and we've got the variant. Um, oh, sorry. Sorry, we just got the subscription. So what we'll need to do is update the subscription, uh, update the product and the variant via the manual job um, or the cron job, depending on what you want to do. But I'd recommend if you're leaving the manual one there for the synchronization, um, you disable it after because it's unauthenticated. So I'm just using this for debugging and for basically general testing. And we've got a success. So now if we check our pocket base, we'll have those products and we should have more subscriptions come through. Yeah, all of the canceled subscriptions I did in my testing are, are there. But let's check the products as well. And that's the one we just created. So we got our variants which is synchronized. And our product. So now there's one thing that we haven't tested and that's creating a checkout function. So to do that, we're going to need to um, run the checkout with the correct user. So we'll just make sure that the portal authorization is correct. Just by copying this token here again, just to double check. I'm sure we've placed it before, but let's just plug it in again. And then we'll send. And we get a nice customer portal link just like this, which we can go and navigate to. And this allows us to manage all of our billing history, billing information, subscriptions, etc. So this is the long and the short of it, guys. Using Lemon Squeezy combined with Pocket Base, you're going to be able to set up a managed subscription service. You're going to also be able to let your customers manage it all through these URLs. 
and you don't really have to worry about doing any sort of uh, manual setup yourself. All of the products and the subscriptions and the variants are all going to be synchronized by that cron job, um, which you can run at like non-peak usage times uh, in order to sort of maximize the uh, effectiveness of that cron job. It's a bit of a shame that compared with something like uh, Stripe, you don't have all of the same um, webhooks, but this is still very powerful and a very quick and easy way of building, especially if you're in a country uh, where Stripe is not available. Also guys, if this one has been useful to you, if uh, you found some value in it, just consider subscribing to the newsletter. Uh, it's where I basically discuss a tutorial, a tool, and a piece of news in the AI and JavaScript community uh, that I think is most important for that week. There's a lot of value and a lot of things that I'm learning, and I think that you guys can learn as well. So yeah, I hope to see you there, and see you in the next one.